Okay, guys, this is just a quick one to show you how to use um, MIDI tracks to control a vocoder in Logic Pro on the iPad. So I have this vocal right here, which is nothing fancy, right? But let's go ahead and show you what you can do. Uh, first thing you need to do is go ahead and create an instrument track, right? So create an empty instrument track. On the instrument track, if we go onto the plugin se uh, section, go ahead and replace the quick sampler, right? So let's long tap on this, replace. And now we need to go all the way down to your audio unit section and go down to the MIDI control effect section. So you tap on that and let's load our vocoder. In this case, if I can find it. Uh, quick. And there you go, that's the vocoder right there. Now, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and create a bus for your um, for your audio track, right? So I'm gonna create a bus for my audio track. Okay, and let's give it a fair volume. Now, this is our bus right here. So what we're gonna do on the bus is set the output to none because we don't want no feedback, right? So we set the output to none. Okay, everything is good here. Let's give this, let's send this to pre-fade. Hold on, if I can get it right. So let's send that to pre-fade. Now, the next thing, the, the, the most important thing now to do is go ahead and open up the, the vocoder. When you open the vocoder, you, you will see this option right here, the sidechain. If that option doesn't come up when you add the vocoder in there, just restart logic and then that will show up. I don't know why that is happening. The same thing happened when I tried to use a fab filters compressor for sidechain. This wouldn't show up initially, but then after I restarted, uh, I restarted the project, it showed up. I don't know why. But anyway, once you have your sidechain section right here, you tap on that. Let's go into the bus and let's choose our bus number six, which is the one we sent you to, right? Now, if we play, you're gonna hear nothing, obviously. You got it, you got it, you got it. Girl, you're my life. All right, you hear no vocoder coming through. So what we can do now is go ahead and copy our MIDI. So let's copy this MIDI. And then let's paste it down here. If I can get it to work, paste it up playhead and let's paste it up playhead. Okay, let me just mess around a little bit with the settings of the vocoder right here. Now, if I play through, you're gonna hear the vocoder coming through. You got it, you got it, you got it. So there you go. Now to prove that the <clears throat> to prove that this is coming from the MIDI, what I'm gonna do is I can get rid of this, right? And then I'm gonna choose me. Oh uh, no, I don't need that. Hold on a second. I can get rid of that, and then while the track is playing, I can play on the keyboard on the um, screen keyboard, and you're gonna see it's coming. You're gonna hear it coming through. You got it, you got it, you got it. Girl, you're my life. Got me so insane. I get it right. So there you go, nothing fancy. <laughs> it's just a way to show you how, how it works. So first thing you need to do, create your instrument track, load the vo load your um load the vocoder as a MIDI effect, right? Uh no, is it MIDI effect or whatever it's called? Uh to do 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 do. Let's go ahead and find that back up. So you're gonna load your instrument as do, 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 replace. There you go, as a MIDI control effect. Once you load that, you create the bus, send the audio track to the bus, uh, set the bus um, output to none and just play around with, it, with your MIDI. And uh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, stay safe.